hopefully um, this is going to be uh, this is interesting to you it's fairly technical but for people who like darkroom work it can be very informative okay I wrote out a script that's what all these pages are of how I'm going to present this material it took me many many years to come up with these three sessions in my head on how essentially I work in, with a camera and in the dark room to make the best print I possibly can and for many years I did this in color and it was only when I had to close my color lab I went back to black and white about three years ago in preparation for my semi-retirement well going back to black and white um, and then I decided to write a paper on, on this and I did that and I don't think anyone read it although it was published online in England I didn't get any response and then I wrote a whole script and I ran it by John Gassers and at Gassers uh, Adolf Gassers photo lab uh, photo supply store and he gave me some good uh, feedback and now I'm recording this and I'm gonna put it on YouTube and be out there and but anyway so in one roll of film, you can get all this data um, given temperature, developer, dilution that you use. If you're shooting on a foggy day and you don't have pure blacks, you don't have very strong blacks, and you don't have any strong whites because everything's foggy, you might go ahead and place zone 3 on a given meter setting and find that the fog is falling on zone 6 there's not a big dense not a big brightness range there if you process zone 6 up to zone 8 you'll get that snap back and so therefore when you shoot that particular image that film is processed in, with 20 minutes and then you can get the image that you, you're, you're thinking in your head this is what I want so everything coming out of your darkroom in terms of negatives has a more ideal density range for you to print onto your normal paper now you always have burning and dodging that doesn't go away um, you've got different contrast grades that you can create with multi-grade paper or even changing to different grades of paper actual uh, grade 3 or grade 1 paper but if your negative is much closer to your ideal it makes printing not only easier but your prints look better and the more you do this, the more you're going to be able to fine tune the way you shoot, the way you handle film, and the printing becomes a real joy. Um, I learned a long time ago that it was so much more fun to print in a dark room when you had a good negative. Um, especially when that negative is a very strong picture um, I've made lots of pictures of marketing materials um, and it's not very exciting <laughs> print pictures of coffee pots and pillows and, but nevertheless I always tried to make the best negative I could especially because I was making so many of them there was, it was not uncommon for me for me to get a job which required 340 by 60s of the same image you know 340 by 60 prints of the same you don't want it to look bad you know, even though it's not a you know, it might be a boring picture but at least the color was good the contrast was right the detail was there 
Um, okay, so this is how I work behind the camera in terms of getting the exposure that I want, processing it correctly. Okay? And this is how I test. And it may seem like a lot of work to do this, but once you do it, you have under your belt the knowledge of what it takes to work with this camera, this film, this developer. And if you think this is a lot of work, <laughs> you try doing it the way the Ansel recommends. I mean, I did that and I thought, wow, this is just to get the ASA down takes a number of steps. So anyway, um, I'm going to stop here and hope that um, this sinks in. Again, if you have any questions, you can email me. Um, and I'll try to answer it. You can watch this again and again. I mean, when, when John Gasser read this, he did have to read it a couple of times. But eventually it made sense. And uh, if you do it, the idea is not just to learn this, but to actually do it. So hopefully it will make sense enough so that you'll try this test out. Um, yeah, I'm going to add to this. But right now I'm going to stop, okay? So you can chew on that. Thanks.